Romyx, back with another video. Currently is raining where I live, so there may be a bit of uh, raindrop noises, rainfall noises, rain noises in general. Um, yeah, with that being said, today's video is, well, what if Naruto is Madara's son? Part 9 or 10. With that being said, in the last part, we left off with Naruto going into the darkness with a smile on his face. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, as it would be greatly appreciated. We can now fully begin the video. Naruto would then walk throughout the village, making sure to let someone free. Itachi, that is. Itachi would then roam the streets, doing good deeds. This would both bolster his name and make him seen as a very good man. Despite him being a part of an organization tasked with taking out the tailed beast, not to mention the fact that the leaf, well, labeled him as a huge and high suspect threat and a figurehead of the Uchiha War. With that being said, Itachi, after two weeks of serving the people of the leaf village, would run into Danzo as a fight would ensue. During this fight, the two would exchange blows and harsh words for one another, as Itachi would push Danzo into a corner. Not to mention the fact that Shisui Uchiha still died in this timeline, so take that how you will. With that being said, Shisui's goal would just be a little different. Rather than trying to stop you know, the Uchiha from fighting the Leaf Village beforehand, he tried to stop it while it was going on, if that makes sense, it should. With that being said, Itachi was ready to fight. As over the course of the battle, Itachi would push Donzo into a corner. This would cause Donzo to then unravel his Sharingan eye, using Koto Onatsukami on Itachi to kill himself. Naruto would then watch as Itachi picked up his blade from the floor, his eyes shadowed with grief. As Naruto would grit his teeth, mumbling that this wasn't a part of the plan. Even though I do have these eyes, it is a little unfortunate, I must say. These eyes were supposed to be used to fight Obito. Naruto would grit his teeth yet again. As he would place Shisui's Koto Natsukami in his left eyes. Putting his left eye in a vial slash tube. What do I mean by this? Well, you guys will get a flashback shortly, conveying, um, at least through speech, what had actually transpired, how Naruto got these eyes, that kind of thing. But with that being said, Naruto now has Koto Natsukami as well. Naruto would then smirk. Well, it does feel good, I must say. This power is extraordinary. Naruto would whistle as all of the Ambu and all of the root ninja available in the village would appear. Naruto would then jump down, lighting the area and grabbing Itachi's hand as he would activate Koto Natsukami, staring into his eyes. We now have a flashback to right before Itachi was imprisoned by Naruto, where Itachi would give Naruto his eyes. Naruto, take these eyes. They can activate a powerful genjutsu. No, Naruto would say abruptly. Why? Why not? Why would I want power from you? I... It, it, it's not... It's a special ability. Oh, I do sure enjoy special abilities, but... You were just fighting me. What's to say that if I implant these eyes, they won't explode and I die? You think I would do that? No, Itachi. You're not that kind of man. So, I'd like to hear more about the Sharingan. Oh, no, it's only one. I see. Well, go on already. Naruto would be intrigued to hear about the Genjutsu Koto Natsukami, as Itachi would explain that within an instant, Koto Natsukami can activate and control any opponent. With that being said, Naruto would smirk a grimace on his face. You could even say a grin if that's what you want to call it. As Itachi would explain that you can even create any reality involving that person. Death, among other things. They could do a task for you, stuff like that. With that being said, Naruto would laugh. A power that can warp a reality of a person... A power that can control that person? Well, isn't that something, Itachi? 
Yes, I'd say it's quite nice. That's why I'm giving it to you. But why? What's the price? Price? Well, you don't just give anybody this. You have a connection to my brother, don't you? We're not entirely friends, but I... Sure. Naruto would say. So, in the case that I'm unable to... Well... In the case that I'm unable to bring Sasuke out of the darkness... And explain to him what happened on that fateful day of the Uchiha massacre. You call it a massacre? For us Leaf citizens, it's known as the Uchiha Civil War. Because a massacre, in most cases, assumes most Uchiha are dead. Most are actually alive. But many powerful figureheads, like your family members, had died. It is a little disappointing. I wonder who killed Fugaku Uchiha, Naruto would say. Well, even if I did know who it was, nothing you can really do now. Technically, whoever it was was just helping our village. Don't you think, Itachi? Yes, that person must be very keen on helping the village. And they must be very strong. In actuality, he's just talking about himself. And in actuality, Naruto already has a theory slash knows that well to be frank itachi is the one who killed fugaku and mikoto those kind of people um as i did explain that in a previous part with that being said naruto would then ask itachi a question if you were to be the one would you consider yourself a traitor to your clan no because our clan resides within the leaf village the Leaf Village is just as important as the clan, is it not? I... I guess so. Naruto would then accept the gift, and that is the gift of the Koto Natsukami. Now back to the present time, or about a month into the future for reference. Naruto would stare down at Danzo, as he would order his Ambu to evacuate the Leaf citizens. The Ambu would do so, or Ambu, I should say, in case that kind of sounded like Ambu. As for root, if you don't know what that is, the root ambu, they're basically a unit that forms under, well, to be specific, under Donzo. With that being said, Donzo was incredibly angry. He didn't know what to do. He was in a bit of a sticky situation, you could say. But he actually had no respect for Naruto. None at all. Now, with that being said, the Ambu who are in root are undying to Donzo. What do I mean by this? They have undying loyalty to Donzo. But that was irrelevant. Naruto had already single-handedly genjutsued all of them into obeying his every command. With that, he would order the root Ambu members to sit around and wait for others. So they would. A few would shed tears, unable to move. Most notably, Fu and Torune. These guys are actually in the Naruto Storm game, so they're decently important. Um, they do appear from time to time. Uh, yeah, Shinobi Torune in the war. Fu's a Yamanaka with orange hair. Interesting stuff, you know, you know. With that being said, these were Donzo's most trusted allies. So, Donzo would laugh. You're going to kill me while all of my men are here? They'll kill you in an instant. That's false. No. You know it's false, Donza would say. You're a false Okage. I'm a false Okage? Why is that, Donza? You're a child. Why else? I'm a 16-year-old boy. And by our nation standards, I'm just as much of a man as you are. Now... Donzo, time for my question. Or, sorry, I worded that a little wrong. You will obey what I say. And you will answer what I have to ask. <sighs> Naruto would sigh. How many people have you killed, Donzo? Probably, Naruto would cut him off. No, how many Uchiha have you killed? As much as I've... Why are you stuttering so much? I feel a little pressure. 
in the air. Don't tell me there's. It's not again, you two, if that's what you're wondering. It's just my tailed beast. In actuality, it is a Genjutsu, but Naruto's playing it off, so Danzo has even more trust in his subordinates as it's not just going to straight-up attack Naruto or attack him. With that being said, Naruto would then ask Danzo again, So how many Uchiha was it? Probably. Pr probably as much as, I was, as, as I've needed to. I see. Then I guess I'll slaughter your men just as much as I need to. <laughs> Naruto would put his hands together, releasing the Genjutsu, as he would cut Donzo's arm off, showing that Donzo was under threat to see what the root members would do. They are no longer under Genjutsu. The root members would all move and sink, attacking Naruto, the fifth Hokage of the Hidden Leaf Village. On this very day, the leaf would be shrouded in a shadow. Naruto would single-handedly switch his eyes, getting back his left eyes. He would then use his left eye's Mongekyo ability. For the first time that we would see, he's used it in the past before. As the root Ombu would all be reverted back to their previous location, shocked at what had happened, they would all stay back. They didn't know what Naruto was capable of. Naruto would smirk. So these are your men? Cowards? I see. Well then... Naruto would continue. Since you told me that you killed as many Uchiha as you needed to for those Sharingan, then I will try to return the favor for my kin. You're an Uchiha? Yes, I'm sure you guessed it already, Donzo. I will kill just as much as I need to. Donzo would then decide to attack Naruto, as he would try to attack from Naruto's blind spot, as Naruto would then slam Donzo into the ground, cutting off his other arm and breaking his legs. Donzo would fall on his knees, causing him excruciating pain, as well as his, well, legs being broken. Just saying, with that being said, Naruto would force Donzo to watch as he killed the root members in front of him. As Naruto would sit down beside Donzo, you see Donzo... Children who never knew war have different values than those who do. So, I guess you're the veteran here, Donzo. I don't have the same values for war as you do. I've never technically experienced one in my life. So, Donzo, I ask you this question. Since I'm a child, would you say that my values are wrong? Would you say that I'm not fit to lead this country? If so, who's more fit than I? The current Okage. I am. Naruto would stare dead at Donzo. You, the one who took Sharingan from my brethren. You, the one who, what, scallows around. You, the one who formed a secret Ambu sub-branch in front of the third Okage. You, the elder who continues to negate the laws of Konoha, you'd make a better Hokage than me. Not to mention that, for the most part, did you not start the Civil War? Oh, and might I add, you did. You did, didn't you? Aye, aye, that doesn't matter. So do the Uchiha not matter? If that's the case, all people living in Konoha don't. That goes for the Yamanaka, the Abarame, and even clans like the Akamichi. Your disregard for human life such as the Uchiha, who are different than you, who are better than you, it disgusts me. So I have a question. What made you the way you are? Was there someone in your past, in Uchiha, might I add, who may have, well sparked your hatred there was one really what's his name kagami was his name i see well i bet you kagami never knew that you would turn out to be such a foul person actually i bet kagami didn't even know you were so foul that you had such a distaste for the, my clan for our clan i I don't. Now, I'll instill in you the same pain that you did to my Uchiha kin. 
that you did when taking their most sacred possession, their most sacred treasure, their eyes, the thing that allows them to see, to see both the present and even the past. Are you saying they can travel in time? Have you grown so, have you gone so mad that you don't even know what, say, a simile or a metaphor is? You can even see into the past, can you not? With those wretched eyes of yours. I mean, the one you were born with. Well, I can think of the past. That's what I mean. I see. Now, Donza, watch this. Naruto would then slam his hand into the ground as all the root members would no longer be able to move. You see, Donza. This is what happens when you're good for nothing, scum. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I can rewind the bodies of those root members whenever I want. But for now, I'll kill them. Just as the Uchiha don't matter, so does all of the other clans in this village, including both the Abarame and, well, the Yamanaka. Naruto would cut through both Fu and Torne before they could do anything to attack. As Donza would watch them fall to the ground, along all of the other room members who he had cared for, shedding one tear. What are you actually going to do? Well, I'm ending your life tomorrow. Naruto would then grab Donzo, rewinding the bodies of the root and breaking all of their legs so they don't escape on his mafia type vibes just saying with that out of the way donzo would be put up on a live stage in front of the whole village as donzo would be publicly executed uh great for donzo but i guess um or sorry other way around great for the village but i guess pretty bad for donzo with that being said uh, donzo's crimes would all be exposed beforehand and it was just a pretty well to be honest, shitty death. With that being said, Naruto would quickly lighten the moods of all the villagers, lightening their moods by doing good deeds, things like that, but also giving them entertainment, like plays, movies that were um, role-played, you could say. With that being said, Naruto would then return to his quarters, or his underground city. He would then go to his room as he would sit there thinking about what he would do next, his next move, his foes, his allies. Who was his friend and who was his foe? Itachi would stop in as Naruto would ask why he was there. Itachi would then say he wondered how Naruto was doing and he thanked Naruto for saving him. It was also unfortunate that Shisui's eye had to be used up on, well, Donzo of all people, or on him, I guess, but because of Donzo. With that being said, Naruto would stand there silent. Well, I guess that calls for a toast, don't you think? You drink alcohol? No, only juice for me. Naruto would then pour himself a nice glass of pineapple juice. Or, really, whatever juice exists in the Naruto world, as they don't really um, discuss the topic of liquid. In fact, I don't even know much liquids in Naruto besides water, green tea, and ramen juice. Like, ramen, like the water that comes off of ramen. So, yeah, take that how you will. With that being said, please enlighten me if you've uh, seen any other forms of liquids in Naruto. Now, with that being said, Naruto would also pour some juice for Itachi, as Itachi would drink with Naruto on that fateful day. With that being said, another day would pass, with Naruto waking up fresh in the morning, greeting the many people in his city. Also, um, for a reference point, I actually may use this idea again in a different what-if, because honestly, this plot, I just honestly love it. Um, yeah, with that being said, though, Numbers wise, I'll give you guys a rundown. There's about a million people in this city. So it's a fairly big city. It's bigger than the city that I live in, at least. Um, 
pack. I think it's, I shouldn't say bigger, but more people. Um, I'd even go the, um, say it's bigger than, say, or has more people, I should say, than like 10 cities, that kind of thing. At least the 10 closest cities to me, definitely. With that being said, now, Naruto would walk to his chambers. Now, in a previous part, I did explain how his chambers are separate from his room. He has his, like, he has his room quarters, whatever you want to call that, where he sleeps, chills, um, does things, that kind of thing, does things on a normal basis, eats, stuff like that. Then he has his chambers where he conducts other things. It's also kind of like his home, but it's a little different. Now, it holds all his, like, greatest possessions, Hokage artifacts, um, like, the seal of, what would we call it, um, it's actually a seal that he made himself, called the Seal of Healing, which can heal any person, basically, in an instant, um, the secrets to that jutsu is there, the seal of scrolling, or, sorry, my bad, it is properly known as the Scroll of Seals, to my knowledge. Or seal of scrolls. I don't know why I'm so confused today. Though I am a little tired. With that being said. Naruto would enter his chambers. As he would see his, I guess you could say, greatest achievement. Or soon to be. Sakura Haruno. Or should I say Sakura Haruno's. In the last part I stated that there was about four to five-ish uh, Sakuras that were there. And Naruto would release the main Sakura. Or there might have actually been 10, to my knowledge. Um, either way, the number ranges from about 1 to 13 in all. But where Naruto is right now, there's only 5. Or f 4 to 5. With that being said, he would get the real Sakura. As Sakura would exit the area. Or two, whatever you want to call it. Um, Orochimaru has them. They're kind of like, I call them rejuvenating chambers, but others have different names for them. With that being said, Sakura would exit. She would then look around, asking where she was, as Naruto would explain everything to her. That she now has the DNA of Uchiha. That she now has the personality of an Uchiha as well. That she now is changed. Now, put simply, I wanted to revamp Sakura's character. Um, a lot of people actually disrespect Sakura in this community, which is perfectly fine. She's a character who's disrespected. I'm not going to say I haven't called her useless, but she's not useless in any way, at least in our current timeline. And she's not going to be useless here either. So if you don't like stories where Sakura is powerful, um, well then, this probably isn't the right would it for you, but there are many others on the channel. With that being said, Naruto would then ask Sakura who she is loyal to or where her loyalties lie because at the end of the day, she is a free person. Sakura wondered, because if you remember Sakura, she knew that she was a weak person, at least compared to her peers. And if, in theory, Naruto gave her enough power to be a strong person, somebody who could, say, even compete with Sasuke, then... She would be undyingly loyal to Naruto, who gifted her with such things. Naruto would then also tell her that there are about 9 to 10 other Sakuras, but they are clones. Sakura is intrigued by this. Clones of me? Yes. They're not you, so it's not as if, let's just say, they're humans, but rather I'd say they're clones, like I said. So, they'll be used as, hmm, they'll all be Jonin, but they're clones. Huh, what do you mean? You have to be very strong to be a Jonin, don't you? You're right, but who said anything about your clones not being as strong as a Jonin, if not stronger? I would promote them higher if they had skill. With proper knowledge, they could all be on the level. Wow. How strong does that make me, then? Well, I don't want to fight you. At this moment, at least. 
There's a certain technique I'd like to learn before you and I have a clash of any sorts. That's how powerful I am? Well, I kind of overstated myself. Or rather, I should say I'm a little confused, Sakura. About? I said I wouldn't want to fight you, and you immediately put me above, say, an Ombu. Why was that? What do you mean? So, let me put it in a simpler term. You were here for, I don't know, a good few years, and you shouldn't know about me being anywhere close to as strong as I am. Well, I just kind of assumed. Why would you create something weaker than you? You're right. Well, you must have gained intelligence as well, Naruto would mutter under his breath. Well, Sakura, you're your own person, so do as you wish, but I have a task. Sasuke, I don't actually know where he is now. He went missing. I think he's gone to go meet up with his team. His team? Team Taka. I actually took a picture of them. This is what they look like. His teammates, that is. I couldn't get a shot with Sasuke in it as well because he was over my back. Now, the red-haired girl is probably the one he's closest to. Her name is Karin Uzumaki. She's a good healer. She also has something known as the Uzumaki chains. At least that's what I've gathered from my research. As all of them have been able to drastically heighten their abilities. And Keke Genkai. Now, the orange-haired one. His name is Jugo. He has an ability that grants him immense power, known as the curse mark. Actually, he's the originator. Sasuke has something similar. Now, this... Naruto would tap. This one right here. He's a very special... Special how? I mean, he has an interesting technique. All of them are special, I should say, but he's the one I'd say has the greatest of techniques as far as combat goes. His name is Suigetsu. I wasn't actually able to hit him. Wait, Naruto, you have to slow down. What do you mean? You're going too quick. Huh? All of this knowledge, it's coming at me directly, and I don't understand it. You mentioned being a Kage. Kage of where? This very village. Wh what? Yes, I am the Hokage of the Leaf Village. The fifth Hokage, in fact. Wow. I didn't know that you were that strong. Weren't you just a Genin four years ago? You're right, I was. Now, back to this. He's able to make himself completely water. But it's a technique that can be learned. And I took a little time to learn it. So, I'm gonna teach it to you. Really? But, it will take too long for me to teach it to you in full. So, you'll only get half the technique. You won't be able to turn your full body into water. But, in theory at least, if you got the right chakra natures, which we'll have to bet you did, then this technique will work in such a manner where, say, somebody tried to slice your arm off, that arm would then become liquid and would reform, in theory, that is. I see. Of course, later on, you could get a mastered version, but for now, that seems pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, it seems all right. All right. Everything's going as according to plan, Naruto would say. According to plan. I want to bring peace to the world. Will this help you get peace? In some way or another. Now, Sakura. Time to learn this technique. Naruto would teach... Sakura, the hydrification technique, and he was actually bluffing. The only reason why he's not teaching Sakura the full version, even though she's a Uchiha and is able to learn faster, that kind of thing, 
is because he hasn't mastered the full version. So he doesn't actually know uh, the full extent of the power. And he's only tested out, say, the half version as an example. With that being said, a few days later, Sakura would get prepared. She now wore a black coat similar to the Akatsuki's attire, but when she got into battle, she wore armor similar to a Ambu Itachi. Um, on screen now might be a picture of what she, in theory, looks like with black hair. She um, actually has black hair. This picture might depict her with pink hair, per se. Um, but yeah, with that being said, she also has the Mangekyo Sharingan. I made that apparent a few parts ago when I introduced this new, um, or I should say, almost coming Sasuke. Or Sakura, my apologies. Sasuke, Sakura, Sasuke, Sakura. And, uh, yeah, this is where I'm gonna end the part for now. So, yeah, take that how you will. Um, Sakura would rush to find Sasuke, using Naruto's intel to know exactly where 